Hello, hello. Welcome to Melissa's Crafting Treehouse and to my latest episode of Treehouse TV. Uh, I, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, if you don't know me, and if this is your first time here, welcome. So glad to have you here, either live or on the replay. Um, so, uh, what do I have in store today? I know, I started a tiny bit early, so I'm gonna allow a little bit of time for people to join in. Um, I have some fun in store, as always. I have a crafting project and announcements. Um, today's project actually features the October Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle project, actually my feature project. Hi, Debbie, good to see you here. Um, <clears throat> and it's a Halloween theme project because the theme is Cute Halloween, the suite in the um, mini catalog, but I am going to show you an alternative option. So if you're not a big Halloween person, you'll be able to um, enjoy this project as well. Plus, <laughs> there's going to be a fun, super fun surprise inside, which is actually, um, those details are not included in the tutorial bundle, so you're getting the special little piece here. Okay, well, so the project is going to be super fun, so we'll move on to that in just a minute. I also have an announcement of the winner of last week's drawing for the hashtag diagonal fun fold card um, and a couple of other miscellaneous announcements. So, hi Pam, good to see you here. Welcome. All right, so let's just launch right in. So, last week I did a project with a, di a fun diagonal fun fold. And I'm just going to grab those two projects from uh, last week. So these are the projects. This is the one I finished. So this is the one that the person who wins today is going to get. So there it is. <laughs> if you were here last week, you would have seen it. Um, and the winner is, drum roll please, I'm giving myself a drum roll here. <laughs> the winner is Barbara Moose. And uh, Barbara is a regular uh, here and um, regular customer of mine. So yay, congratulations, Barbara. Hey, Christy, welcome. Good to see you here. So Barbara, I will be sending you one of those two cards that um, I made last week. So congratulations. Yay, Barbara. What else? Okay, so um, I also have a hashtag for this week. Um, it's going to be hashtag capital SSS, stands for Simple Sweet Stampers, SSS. Um, cute Halloween. So that's the hashtag and the person who wins will win uh, one of the projects I'm making today. So um, uh, now in in keeping with that, um, I have decided to offer something for my newsletter subscribers um, this month, which is uh, related to the Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle. I decided to grab all of the fall and winter themed tutorial bundles that have ever been created in the group. Well, I get eight of them. Um, and discount them by 50% just for newsletter subscribers. So that was in my newsletter. The links um, for the 50% off discount are only in that newsletter that went out yesterday. So if you are um, a fan of the tutorial bundles or you want to try it out, this is a great time to try. Some of them start at $10, some start at $12. So of course they will be five or $6 each. Um, and they include either eight or 12 uh, tutorials. So super cool. Um, and the cute Halloween is one of those ones that I'm offering for the 50% off. So that's going on this week. Um, also, I have a, a technique class that's coming up. The class uh, that's live online is on October 26th um, at 7 p.m., but you don't have to participate on the, in the live class if you don't want to. Um, you can join in either by watching the replay or just um, do it on your own with the PDFs, etc. Um, but the option to sign up for a kit in the mail ends on the 16th, which is, what is that? Just a few days. Today's the 14th. So that would be Saturday, this Saturday. So if you're interested in that and getting a kit in the mail, which makes the class super fun and easy because you get to start crafting right away. Um, yay, Kimmy. Good to see you here. <laughs> um, that's the way to go. But there's also a $10 option just for the live online event, just to participate uh, in the Facebook uh, video part. Um, or recorded, um, or you can buy the just the electronic uh, piece, pieces, which includes the video and two PDFs. So um, that's going to be a super fun class. I love the projects that I made. So I have four projects plus a technique page, and they all use different stamps. I've used a lot of stamps on it. You don't have to have all the stamps to do it, but um, I used um, lots of different stamps, which will make it super fun. 
give you a variety of things to see with the sepia effects. All right, so let's see what else. Oh, so this week, or well, actually over the last couple of weeks, with the help of my 21-year-old daughter, <laughs> I've been learning how to use TikTok. Um, now, people might not love TikTok. It's super fast. You can't even do a video longer than three minutes. But I have three TikTok videos on my account now, and I'm just experimenting with different ways to teach people. Um, they are super quick and easy, and especially good for um, you know easy, quick projects. Now, they take a little time to make, but not nearly as much as an edited video. So I just invite you to go check out my TikTok, um, what do they call it? channel. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Um, it's called the crafting tree house. It was, I did, it wasn't enough room to use Melissa's, right? So it's just the crafting tree house. That's where to look for me. Uh, if you're interested in checking out my TikToks, and I have three of them so far. Um, okay. What else? Uh, that is really it for my announcement. So now let's go ahead and get started with the projects. I'm going to face the camera down and show you the project, the products that I'm using and um, we'll show you what project I have in store. Remember, it's gonna be a fun surprise inside, Halloween plus some other um, options. So let's get started. Hi, Jan, good to see you here. <laughs> All right. All right, so what you see in front of you is the cute Halloween designer series paper. And this pack of paper, I'm showing you sort of, you know, a lot of the patterns that are in there. There's actually eight different double-sided designs. These are six of them. Um, and I'm turning them over here. I don't have full sheets of the other two, so that's why I'm not showing them. But these ones on the back are, well, generally more neutral. Of course, these ones are, these, this one's I can't point while I'm... <laughs> Looking at the camera. This one and this one obviously is Halloween, um, and several of the other patterns are Halloween, but um, some are more neutral. So I like to, uh, I like papers where I have that neutral, new, neutral option of patterns so that I can use them for the theme they're intended, but also for something else. So I'm going to show you that. Um, hi, Jolene. Good to see you. Um, so now, so this is six of the eight patterns. The other two, I've used most of what I have. So this is like, I'm, I've got some I'm using today. So um, these are the other two patterns. Only have a tiny bit left of them. This is my favorite one, this candy one. Super fun. So just wanted you to see that. So Cute Halloween, of course, is the, um, the theme for today. So there's the hashtag. Remember, use the hashtag if you're interested in um, uh, getting a chance at winning the card that I'm making today. We're going to be using a wish for everything. And this literally has like every possible thing you could say. Well, maybe not. That's a little bit of an exaggeration. But there are so many sentiments in here. It's crazy. Um, and I, I like to use that big happy with several of the other sentiments. And then, of course, what's here goes on the inside of your card for a variety of purposes. So that's what we're using for stamps today. Let me show you that finished card. And then we'll get to making it. So there's my card. Just a cute little simple card. But as you can see that designer paper that's the same designer paper I just colored it so that's what I'm doing and I got to show you the surprise inside so you, you're enticed and you're excited to learn it so here we go Woo. <laughs> I love a surprise inside what do you guys think I don't even know what it's called a pop-up card of some kind um, or a fun fold anyway I could just keep opening it and closing it because I think it's just too cute for words so that's what we're making today so let's bring some materials in here I'm going to slide that to the top. Hopefully you'll still be able to make it out. And what I'm going to start with is a card body that's gorgeous scrape. And I've got a piece of black cardstock. And that actually has adhesive already on it. We're going to start with coloring some of our designer paper pieces. Um, now I've pulled out a couple of different options and I've taken um, one of them that's more neutral because I wanted to show you how I colored it. And I'm just going to grab a piece of paper here. Now this one I'm going to color Old Olive. So I've got my blending brush. And I am doing this card in a, in a slightly different way just for the fun of it. So you'll get to see two variations on the card. So my Old Olive is the first color that I'm going to use. And you guys have seen me use these before, but you, um, you just want to start off the edge of the page because it's always really dark when you first start and then kind of make your way to the center. 
and you can do it like an ombre kind of effect if you want, or you can do it more uniform, and of course you can do it as dark or as light as you want. I'm doing this one pretty uniform. I might leave just a little bit in the center, and if you're noticing the little edge on this, it's because I have adhesive behind. I like to kind of skip through all the boring parts when I, when I demonstrate. I think it's, well, it's more interesting for me when I watch people do it that way because, you know, I know how to put adhesive on, and so do you guys. All right, so that's probably about as dark as I want. Now, I did that on a couple of different pieces, but as I always do, I give myself a little head start. So this is the piece that I'm going to use on the card today, and these are some alternatives I'm going to show you that are options. Now, I've also taken this piece, which was one of the patterns in here, as you can see right there. So it started just basically gray and white, and I colored it with gorgeous scrape ink. So those are gonna be my pieces for the front of my car. And they're gonna go on this black piece here. So I've got adhesive on the back of this one already. The, this is gonna be what goes on the top. And look at those. I'm never inclined to doing things like skulls, even those are kind of, you know, kind of fun, but just not my jam, really. All right, so that, I have a nice sort of thin edge on there. I like my thin edges. And then I got adhesive on the back of this one. This one's kind of fun, too. Um, definitely an option for a non-Halloween um, style card. Okay, now this one is a tiny bit wider. Hold on. Gotta cut a little bit off. Gotta make sure I have the same width for my designer series papers. Sometimes they don't end up being the same width somehow. <laughs> oh, jeez. The edge over here is not the same width either. Okay, so I've got a tiny little edge that's bigger here. Gonna make me crazy, so quick cut. Hold on, I'll be right back. Hey, Sally, you found me. <laughs> now, the trick is not cutting off too much, so I just trimmed off a tiny bit off of the left side just to make it a little closer to being even. Okay, so now this piece, um, I'm going to grab a piece of Highland Heather uh, ribbon, and I love this ribbon. It's really, it's kind of wide, but it's supple. And look at that shimmer, it's just so fun. This is Highland Heather. Now, I know some of you just joined in, so I'm gonna quickly show the card again, just for fun. Make sure you all know where we're going. So this is the uh, front, and then we're doing, whoop, the fun inside. Isn't that fun? Just so fun to open it and close it. I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm obsessed, I'm like a little kid, right? Okay, so, next up, we need to attach this ribbon. I'm going to use some glue dots on the ends of it. Oh, you like how I colored the designer paper, Pam? I'm so glad. I love the blending brushes. Um, probably my single favorite thing in the new catalog when it came out. Um, and I use them all the time. I just love how you can get sort of, I don't know, I think of it as a higher resolution. Of, um, of ink coverage and a lot more control over the subtlety of it. So I'm just gonna bring that in because you know I don't really wanna think about positioning. I wanna just put it where I had it before because it worked before. Wrap those around the back side. Oh, hi, Laura Lee, good to see you here. I'm glad you think it's cute, wonderful. Okay, so we got this. Now I have adhesive on the back, so I'm just gonna keep my little plastic sheet in here so I can put it down on there and not have to worry about it sticking to the table. And now I've die cut a black circle, I've got adhesive on the back of it as well. This is from my layering circles dies. This is really the kind of thing that's just a staple, right? So I use these all the time. Just gotta bring them in the camera and show you. And this is gonna get attached you know, I was thinking about this. I don't know if you, if you guys thought about this or noticed this, but maybe that black circle should really be orange, like the moon. <laughs> I was thinking about this earlier. It's like, 
should I really have had a black moon or should I have done a different color? These are the things I think about. All right, now I've got a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock and my little cat punch. I was thinking I should have done, I could have done the reverse, you know, a black cat and an orange sky. So that's just another fun alternative option to think about if you're considering making this style of card. Okay, so I've got that one next. Now, I could use my Halloween. I've taken my stamp my Halloween from my A Wish for Everything set, and I did sponge the edges, okay? And that's what I did on my original card. You can see it on the bottom. But I wanted to go in a different direction so you could see how this card could be Halloween or it could be something else. So instead, what I did was I did a little mini birthday. So I like to put the little mini birthday on the bottom of the cat's body. And then I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on the back side of the cat. You're a fan of blending brushes too, Jan. I have a feeling we're not alone. <laughs> Very popular item. I think they were on back order for quite a while. Or you may have been unavailable. Okay, so I know I'm crazy with the dimensionals. I just don't want a caved in cat. Um, <laughs> so my cat's not going to cave in there. No way. Okay, I'll take our backings off. And my cat's just going to kind of go. I want it to overlap a little bit. Okay, so now one other thing. I do like to put a little bit uh, of something behind the cat's tail. So I've cut some of my little mini black dimensionals in half. You can see. And I'm just going to use one of them on the cat's tail. And I like to do it so the pointy part is on the curved section right there. Just kind of fits a little bit better than going the other direction. And actually, I think I'm going to do a second one as well. Some of these are thinner than others, so the thinner ones are probably better suited to that tail so you don't see it. All right, now I can go ahead and attach it. All right, just like that. Isn't that cat cute? I think he's so cute, or she. I don't know. What do you think? Is it a he or she? Okay, so now I've done the same thing with my Happy. I've sponged on the edges with my gorgeous scrape ink and actually not sponged. I used my blending brush. Um, I've actually learned how to control getting it just on the edge like that, which at first I wasn't so good at, but I think I've gotten a little better at it. So now I'm going to just put it right onto its little black strip on the back. Just kind of a little accent, you know, it doesn't have to be framed or anything, just something to offset it. And it's popped up on dimensionals. I've taken the backings off. So just to, again, make it easy. And I'm just going to stick it at the bottom of the top of the card. So happy birthday, right? So fun. Okay, so now all I have to do with this piece is attach it to the front of my card, and then we get to do the fun inside part. A little bit of engineering, but it's not too complicated. Oh no, a little one of my, my hairs, that long hair of mine seems to get everywhere. Let's see. Gotta have those even edges. There we go. Okay, so just to compare, okay, right? So we got our simpler green and the purple on the top. It's, I think it's a beautiful color scheme. Now, can you see this as non-Halloween? <laughs> Anybody with me on that? Could it be not Halloween? I mean, I know it makes you think a little bit of Halloween, but you could give it to somebody for their birthday around Halloween, right? So there's the two fronts. We're going to do the inside next, but just to look at it. This is obviously Halloween with the candy, right? But the other way doesn't have to be Halloween. Okay, so let's do the inside. Super fun. Move our dirty paper away. Now, I did mean to show you while I was doing it and forgot that you could, of course, do the that Halloween paper on the bottom. It was kind of like heavy on the purple, so I didn't want to just do that. 
I meant to do that before I was putting it on. And then you could also do this one, right? That's the candy on the back side. So there you go. Oh, your birth, your your uh, dad's birthday is October 21st. Perfect, perfect style card for this time of year, right? For a birthday at this time of year. Okay, so let's do the inside. Here we go. So I've made myself a little mini template like I like to do just so that it helps me remember. So I'm basically just taking a piece of cardstock that's five and a half by five and a half and scoring it as you see here. So two and three quarters uh, in this direction and then in this direction. And then as you can see on my scoring tool, I've taken a Sharpie and drawn a line. And this is so that I know that which line is continuous. Um, oh, you just did a Halloween card for a little girl's birthday. How fun, Lorley. So now I'm just going to stick the point of my cardstock into the groove right at the top. And then I can line up the bottom point with the black line. And then just make sure it stays right in that same groove. Just go down the middle and there we go. Super easy. So that's the mechanics of this card. This is how, this is what makes it all work is the scoring. So now I'm going to fold the diagonal at a mountain, mountain fold. And I do want to burnish this really, really well. The card doesn't really ever stay flat with something this big on the inside, but the more it's burnished, the better it will be. Okay, and then the other way, the valley fold, so you know, there's a valley. We're going to do the valley folds for those um, perpendicular score lines. So mountain diagonal, valley for the other. Okay. So now what we do is it folds up like that now. Okay, so there's our mechanism. Just going to, again, do my burnishing on the edges. Now let's put the inside together. Now I did um, case this mechanism from, I am not going to remember her name, <laughs> but I did case it from somebody. And her card opened the long way, so it was four and a quarter by 11. So hers went like, you know, so it would open like that. And mine opens like this, but it's fine either way, right? Doesn't really matter which way. Okay, so now I've got some pieces of paper here. I'm gonna have two white pieces, and I've decided I wanted them sponged around the outside edges. And so I have another one of my blending brushes, just wanted to finish this one up. And I'm doing it on my silicone craft sheet. And I will need to clean it, you know, the silicone craft sheet, of course, when I'm done so that, because um, the ink is just going to sit there on the surface. But can you guess why it's on there? In part, because guess what? I have adhesive on the back side. So this is a perfect thing for when you have adhesive on the back side as well. And you can see how quick and easy that was to get those lovely purple edges. All right, so. I have a sentiment stamped, also from the A Wish for Everything set, and it's a birthday theme themed one. So just a little reminder that you are loved. And I'm gonna put this one on the left and the plainer one on the right with the thinking that it will be easier to write on it because it's more flat, because it's the base inside of the card. Let's see if that's slightly So just fun, right? So the card itself is gorgeous grape. So I thought it'd be fun to have those gorgeous grape panels. And then I'm bringing in some of the green to the inside. And I started with a square that's two and a half by two and a half. These panels are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And again, the whole thing is five and a half by five and a half. I say that because the dimensions will not be on my blog post. They usually are, but because the tutorial bundle projects are exclusive. I don't put them into my post. So that's just to say, that's why I'm saying them out loud. Because <laughs> oftentimes I don't share them out loud. 
Um, are you using the Cork DSP yet? You know what? I haven't yet. Oh my gosh, you're on your fourth package. That's amazing, Jan. <laughs> I have not gotten around to it. There's just so many things to create, you know? I, I can't even keep up. Um, so there is the one that's already cut. This one I'm just going to take into my cutter. You guys know I like this guillotine cutter. We Stampin' Up! used to sell it, but I just find it to be so precise that I really like it. So I'm just lining up the point and the point on the edge and snipping it down the middle. There we go. And then I can go ahead and attach these pieces to the triangle sections here. And uh, I, I contemplated doing this all purple, but I just thought it would be so much more fun to mix up the colors a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just use glue dots on these other triangles, just because they're here and it's easy. So I'll do one on each corner. So in this designer paper pack, there's... Uh, one pattern that actually has the orange on it and another one with stripes that um, doesn't have the orange on it, so it allows you to do your own, own color if you wanted to. So I, this is the same paper that I used on the inside of the Halloween card. I'm just using the other side and coloring it. Okay, so last but not least, we just need to get this into the card inside. So of course there's a little method to the madness there. So I've got my card all ready to go. So now what I'm going to do here, it's going to be so that the point is up against the fold but not too close up to it, right? And then it's going to be centered top to bottom. And for this one I am going to use my white glue and I want that. I want to do this side first. And I like the liquid glue because, of course, it gives you a little bit of time to move it around. And it's really nice and secure for something that's going to be under a fair amount of strain because of this crazy fold. Okay, now I have to make sure that I still have it in the right orientation. And that looks right. And I didn't put it too close to the edge, so if I need to slide it around, I can. And I'm just going to close that because it's going to help me figure out where that point should actually be. So I did end up, when I folded it, it pushed it just a little bit to the right, which was, you know, what I needed to do to make sure that um, the fold uh, wasn't in the way in pushing it. So we've got one side down now. And then all I need to do is add my white glue to this side. And as I like to say, I'm going to sh shut the front door. <laughs> I'm going to shut it and then just put a nice big, whatever this size block is, it's a huge one. It's our biggest block. What is it? The F block. Do I have that right? Yeah. And just let it sit there for a minute to uh, set. And... I'm just going to bring in the other one. Now, just uh, so you know, on this one, I used my Blends Alcohol Markers to color all this in. Yay, somebody gave me a heart. Thank you. <laughs> Love that. Um, so I used two, the light and dark of the Old Olive for these and these elements. Just did a mix, mixed them up. And then I used the light and dark Highland Heather for the little candies. Um, and then, of course, I used pumpkin pie in the candy corns. And then some of them I did the center of the candy corn, and others I did the two outside edges, but, you know, the alternating thing, like a candy corn is. So, um, but I only used one, I only used the dark pumpkin pie in my coloring. So just wanted you to know how I did that. And then the stamping was all done with my Jet Black Stays On, because this is a red rubber set. And you guys know how I like the Black Stays On. And what else?
what else can I tell you? I think that's pretty much it. So let's see if um, the inside is ready to go. Now on the inside of this one, I use some of these uh, cute Halloween stars. I think that's what they're called. Well, they're just called cute stars, adhes adhesive back stars. Um, and I use some of the orange ones. And I haven't yet put them on this one, but I think I might do it. We'll see. So there's the inside of that one with the green. Do you guys like the green? Oh, you love it. Wonderful, Loralee. I'm so glad. Oh, you're, you wish you'd done yours before? <laughs> well, you could do another one, right? Halloween is what, two weeks away or a little bit more? Um, <laughs> let me see what else. You said there's more for me to see. Okay, no, and it's gone. Well, I'm so glad you like it, Pam. Wonderful. So there are my two card versions, my birthday and no, so the, the real question is, if you saw this at any other time besides Halloween, would you think Halloween? Does it automatically think, make you think Halloween? <laughs> I love um, green and purple, the combination in general. So, so there's my cards. There we go. Isn't that fun? I think they're so fun. Nothing like a pop-up on the inside to spice things up a bit. All righty. I am going to turn the camera, finish up, and say a little farewell. So don't forget to um, use the hashtag, hashtag SSSCuteHalloween um, in the comments, and you can do it on YouTube as well um, if you're watching on the replay. Hi, Christy. I'm so glad you like the card or cards. <laughs> Cute and, yes, yeah, pretty easy too. Yes, there's some detail to it, but it's definitely easy, especially the inside. The mechanics are not that complicated. Um, uh, and of course, I forgot to say, please feel free to share and like this video, whether you're on YouTube, on Facebook, um, or tag friends, uh, anything you guys can do to share, share the Treehouse uh, Techniques videos. I appreciate it very much. Um, so what else? Um, remember about the 50% off sale. I actually, in the newsletter, forgot to put a deadline, so I'm going to tell you the deadline now. Um, I'm going to leave it open, those 50% off coupons for... Um, the tutorial bundles until October 18th, which is Monday. That gives anybody who's watching on YouTube a couple of days to, um, to catch that sale. Um, and again, there are eight tutorial bundles available at the 50% off price that are fall and Christmas themed. Um, and then Saturday is the last day to sign up for um, the upcoming sepia techniques class um, and get a kit. You can RSVP all the way through October 24th if you just want the electronic options, uh, either the live or the bundled option with the PDFs. Um, and don't forget to check me out on TikTok if you want to. Uh, leave a comment, like, follow, all that good stuff. Um, and tell me what you think. The, the videos move pretty quick, but you do not have to be a TikTok um, account holder in order to view it. Just say, no, you don't want it, and it'll still let you look at it. So um, I think they're kind of fun, um, interesting to make. And thank, thanks, thanks to my 21-year-old daughter who uh, helped me do it. <laughs> we all need a younger person to teach us these things these days, right? All right, so I will not be back next week. I did do two consecutive Facebook Lives this last week and this week, but I am going to take next week off. Um, and as I mentioned last week, I'm just readjusting my schedule because I will be traveling in early November to visit my mom, and um, I can't be doing one that week, and I was scheduled to do one that week. And uh, so I will be back on, what would it be? It would be the 28th, yes, so two weeks from today. And the post for these projects will be um, on my website with photographs. Um, tomorrow evening and this will go live on YouTube tomorrow as well. So I'm sorry Saturday Saturday <laughs> All right, let me know if you have questions comments anything don't forget to use that hashtag SSX SSS cute Halloween and We'll see uh, we'll see you again soon. Maybe for the technique class. I know I'm gonna see Megan for the technique class <laughs> And maybe others so yay All right, just looking at comments. Oh, uh, yeah, and I'm not going to see my mom until early November So it's a little while We'll be talking between now and then <laughs> and seeing each other. Um, let's see. Oh, Elizabeth. Yes, you're going to watch the replay. Of course you have to watch the replay. <laughs> I'm not going yet. <laughs> but yeah, safe travels are always good, right? I did actually just have a trip this past weekend to uh, Greenville with my husband, and it was awesome. <laughs> so much fun. Mentioned it in my newsletter. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight and checking out my project. And you guys have a wonderful week or two weeks, depending on when I see you. And um, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.